All right, we're back at Doug's X5's garage and we're gonna be going over an update of the engine rebuild and transaxle. So as you can see, I've got the engine and transaxle back in the car. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over with you what 4,500 hard miles on a Weddell S4D did. So I'm gonna go through what that rebuild cost me right now. So after 4,500 miles, one of the things that has happened, I started having a bearing failure. And Bill at Arizona Transaxle actually said it was a good thing my engine failed or I would have had a catastrophic transmission failure. So he is say, stating that this main bearing in the Weddell S4D is not all that great and that it needs to be refreshed every you know couple years. As I had this thing in for three years, 4,500 miles, um, I think I'm gonna start pulling it out at every 3,500 miles and have it freshened up. So that was the main thing. And during the freshen up, he replaces all bearings regardless of condition. So the rest of the bearings are okay, but you don't really wanna leave them in there. The other thing he did, he replaced second gear, or I should say half a second gear. And I don't know if you can see in between the teeth, you can see uh, some wear, uh, fatigue wear, that, that they could eventually turn into cracks and you don't want to break off a tooth. So we went ahead and replaced second gear. And then we had the dog ring. So these are a little rounded on one side. This was the only one that he replaced. He essentially said some people flip them over and run them again, but I told him go ahead and replace it. Here's a receipt. And that total amount due right there was also for six quarts of gear oil as well as the pilot bearing, new pilot bearing. And this is a rebuild of my Mendiola 2D, which only had a year and a half on it and probably about a thousand miles versus three years, 4,500 miles. And this is back when prices were cheap prior to COVID hyperinflation. And now this is after hyperinflation. So I have nothing but good things to say about Bill at Arizona Transaxle and Weddell S4Ds. Awesome. Just make sure you pull it out in time to have those bearings refreshed before they fell because that main bearing is the weak link. That was the only carnage in this transmission, after 4,500 miles, if you guys have been watching my videos, we go to Idaho. Uh, those are some very steep climbs.
probably why I ended up losing a uh, number four main bearing in the engine. I don't have a, a dry sump. So I think I'm gonna be switching to a dry sump uh, to protect the engine a little bit. Um, so anyway, with that, I found a bug sprayer in my garage and I have converted this to a transmission servicing pump. And it works way better with a lot less effort. And I think what I might do is go ahead and drill this out and put an air chuck in it for about five PSI of pressure. But uh, watch how much better this thing seems to work than that stupid air pump. It's got a relief valve here so you don't blow yourself up. Look at that. Way better. Compared to how freaking slow that other one was moving, this is the cat's meow. And then like I said, if I had an air chuck plugged into this, then we could just run it and walk away. So I've got about six quarts of oil in here and we will go ahead and service this and just let it go. Anyway, I think what I will do is I will drill a hole in here and I will put an air chuck and uh, five PSI, maybe 10. This does have a pressure relief valve on it. Um, if you're putting too much pressure in, it'll pop the valve so you can play with that. But uh, that's what I'm gonna do to this and then we'll have a nice servicing tool for uh, transmission fluid, rear differential fluid, on motorhomes, trucks, etc. All right, so what I've been doing is keeping an eye on it and when it drops a mark and I notice it went down that much, I come back and pump it up. Here you go, we're done. That's all we need. Okay, I'll put the drain and fill plugs back in and that job is done.